Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about uh, decoding strategy. This would be the follow-up question from the uh, previous uh, interview question. So this could be one of the probable question that when equation number one, y1 is equal to x1 plus n1 and y2 is equal to x1 plus n2. Okay, when we have these two equations, then how to decode x1? Okay, but in the earlier video, uh, in the earlier question, uh, it is such a way that the noise is white okay but now we have a statistics of noise which is having uh, a different uh, noise variance so the assumption is uh, both of them are Gaussian with zero mean but uh, the variance are different um, they are not identical okay but uh, we can consider them as to be uh, independent so this is the question so how to decode x1 okay so we have already seen right uh, we have already seen the solution for uh, the case when the noise is white so why can't we convert these equations such a way that the noise is white so for that one of the um, strategy is to multiply by 1 by square root of sigma 1 square and the second equation 1 by square root of sigma 2 square so in which case uh, you know from here i will get back this this these two equations okay so now the thing is that if i consider uh, any one quantity sigma uh, i mean n1 tilde which is actually equal to 1 by square root of uh, sigma 1 square n1 if i try to take the variance of it i will get one similarly for uh, uh, n2 tilde the variance will be one so can you see both the uh, both of them have the same variance so now we have converted uh, uh, you know the noise into white noise so especially uh, in this particular equation now we can use the same intuitive solution to to actually you know get the x1 right so why why don't we why don't you just add this if you had then what do you get y1 tilde plus y2 tilde is equal to 1 by square root of sigma 1 square plus uh, 1 by square root of uh, sigma 2 square okay so x1 plus uh, n1 tilde plus uh, n2 tilde all right now we need just x1 right we don't want this particular term so um, you know we can even eliminate this by dividing uh, uh, with this quantity okay we can divide this quantity uh, we can divide by this quantity in this particular equation to uh, get just x1 so that is what i have written over here so if you see in this equation i have divided which means i have taken the inverse of this particular quantity and even i have substitute for y1 tilde y2 tilde here okay so then what is the final equation okay so the final equation is x1 tilde is equal to I mean, if you try to simplify, you would get something like this: sigma two square divided by square root of uh, sigma one square plus sigma, uh, sorry, square root of uh, sigma two square into y one plus square root of sigma one square divided by square root of sigma one square plus uh, one square root of sigma one square plus the square root of sigma two square into y2 so y1 and y2 should be combined in such a way that uh, using the statistics of noise 1 and noise 2 if you combine in this way then you will be able to get back your x1 today okay so we will try to cross verify you know what happens when sigma 1 square is equal to sigma 2 square so so will it match to the solution which we discussed in the previous video is okay that we will try to verify now so if both of them are equal then what do i get so in which case i can take out um, right i can so it will become 2 into um, square root of sigma 1 square divided by square root of sorry 
by square divided by square root of sigma 1 square uh, plus square root of sigma 2 square uh, it's like okay uh, y1 plus y2 so you will not have uh, the term 2 sigma 1 square common and even the denominator also will be common so here sigma 2 is equal to sigma 1 square so i am writing sigma 1 square so in which case i will get 1 by 2 into y1 plus y2 if uh, the noise is white so i am going i am getting the solution which we discussed in the previous video which is basically performing the average across the received samples um, when the noise is white right um, so i hope you got the clarity and you got the solution for this particular question um, if you're looking for more videos like this please do subscribe to the channel have a great day bye bye thank you